The 2016 aviation events schedule is getting kicked off this week with the Sport Expo in Florida. That's where we find AOPA Live's Paul Harrop. So Paul, no jacket down there. Yeah, it is short sleeve weather here in Sebring, Florida, as the U.S. Sport Aviation Expo gets started. And the warm weather is not the only thing that organizers hope will draw a bigger crowd. They've got a lot of new things on tap for this year. Well, Sebring is always a fun show for us to come to. It's about good weather, good airplanes, and a good time without the hassle of some of the bigger shows. Beautiful day. I've done a demo or two. Uh, a lot of good prospects are coming through. Most everyone here left cooler temperatures to head to the central Florida highlands. It was literally zero degrees when we left Mexico, Missouri two days ago. And with the weather cooperating, Expo Director Jana Phillip hopes more people will come out to see the event. She's worked hard to program the seminars, bring new events in, and new this year, made a big push to get young people to come to the Expo grounds. Because we're a Wednesday through Saturday show, that really only gives that one weekend day to get the students out here. So it's a little enticement. It's the students are complimentary on Saturday when they're accompanied by an adult. And we've reached out to a lot of the aero clubs and um, colleges and classes that take place in the area. A lot of the youth EAA programs are also coming in. And we've kind of geared that day towards the youth and hope that the aviators of tomorrow will come out here this year. The last three years, there have been two rain days each year, bringing the average attendance to about 18,500. Philip hopes to see that number climb up with the push out to the students. And there's also some fairly big news within the home-built LSA world. Zenith Aircraft has purchased the SAM Aircraft Company's assets in a deal announced this week. The SAM LS made headlines several years ago as a home-built LSA that was designed to look like warbird trainers from World War II. Zenith Sebastian Heinz saying he's excited about the purchase. The acquisition of the, the SAM Aircraft assets is definitely a departure from what we normally do. We've has cultivated things in-house in the past, but this was an opportunity that presented itself. Uh, we looked at it long and hard and decided to proceed with it uh, for a number of reasons, uh, and primarily uh, the fact that it's a technology, the, the way the aircraft is constructed and designed, really very similar to our own design and construction philosophy, so it's something that we, we believe we can bring in-house with minimal pain. And then also the design itself, it's a unique, uh, unique aircraft, uh, quite different uh, than, than what we currently do. Heinz says right now the company is in a market research phase, reaching out and trying to see what customers want in the SAM. They hope to have a big announcement and the airplane flying as soon as sun and fun. But there is another new airplane making a splash here at Expo. This is the innovator from Commuter Craft. It is a radical design with a canard up front and side-by-side -side seating with a 60-inch cockpit. They call it a three-lifting surfaced aircraft. The connected tail is actually a lift surface, as are the wings and the canard up front. The aircraft designer hopes that it will bring a new, young audience into aviation. They're still developing the prototype model. We'll have more on that airplane in a future edition. So a lot to see here at the U.S. Sport Aviation Expo, a lot to do, including going to a rusty pilot seminar by AOPA's own Jamie Beckett, followed up by a screening of Flying Again, the movie about rusty pilots. We've got the 152 reimagined and an AOPA tent here as well. We are going to bring you more from Expo next week. But for now, I'm Paul Harrop in sunny Florida. Back to you.